We've got to talk about this insanely messy situation involving the UK Labour Party, John Stewart, and the allegations of anti-Semitism. Because yesterday, the news broke that the Labour Party had banned a left-wing academic by the name of Faiza Shaheen, with them specifically banning her from standing as a candidate in the upcoming election over tweets that she liked that some members considered objectionable. With this including one tweet in particular that the Jewish Labour Movement had complained about that read, Every time you say something even mildly critical of Israel, you're immediately assailed by scores of hysterical people who explain to you why you're completely wrong, how you're biased against against Israel. Moreover, you can't easily ignore them because those are not just random people. They tend to be friends or people who move in the same circles as you. Those people are mobilized by professional organizations. But when that tweet was flagged and read aloud by a BBC host in an interview with Shaheen, she responded by explaining. I don't remember liking this tweet. I was looking, there's a, if you see that tweet, it was um, a retweet of a John Stewart sketch. I watched the John Stewart sketch. Um, but I wouldn't have even ordinarily liked that. I, honestly, I probably, it was the middle of the night. If you look at the timing, I was probably with the baby breastfeeding. And according to reports, the John Stewart clip in question was actually one from way back in 2014. And there, Stewart does a bit where he's trying to talk about an Israeli ground offensive happening at the time. You know, every time he says the word Israel, he gets yelled at by four of the show's correspondents. We'll start tonight in, in the Middle East where Israel... What? Israel isn't supposed to defend itself? Oh, yeah, if Mexico bombed Texas, will we exercise What other countries held to the same standard as Israel? Israel. People that want to destroy right. our terrorists? What is the matter with the most only democracy in the Middle East, East you Self-hating Jew? <laughs> And there, Stewart hits on the fact that even Jews like himself, they get slammed for criticizing Israel or called self-hated, which many Jewish people actually find anti-Semitic because it draws from the dual loyalty trope that a Jewish person's true allegiance is only to Israel. So it ends up being kind of ironic that this is what Shaheen is getting in trouble over, which is something even John Stewart himself noted, retweeting a post on X that shared the video and writing, this is the dumbest thing the UK has done since electing Boris Johnson. What the actual fuck? Though there, I also want to quickly note here that the post that he retweeted did get a community note clarifying that she had liked to post about the clip, not the clip itself. But to that point, we did see Shaheen telling BBC that she did understand that the tweet she had liked was wrong. I know what's wrong with it, of what course. What is wrong with it? The, wrong, the line that's there about the, um, you know, the, they're in professional organizations, it plays into a trope, and I absolutely don't agree with that, and I'm sorry about that. But they're also going on to say that this was just one tweet that she liked, arguing that her actions in her community and for Jewish constituents should be more important, and going on to complain about double standards in the Labour Party. And actually, to that point, we saw Shaheen doubling down on those claims again today, with her announcing that she'll be challenging the Labour Party's decision and accusing it of launching, quote, a systemic campaign of racism, Islamophobia, and bullying, further claiming that the party has a palpable problem with black and brown people. But for now, that's where we are. We're gonna have to wait to see how this whole mess plays out, especially with the snap election just around the corner on July 4th.